on the red carpet with General Hospital's own Lisa Lou Cicero. She's a working mom and she's here to talk to us today. Thanks so much for joining us, Lisa. My pleasure. My so, pleasure. Working Mother Ma Magazine is a huge fan of General Hospital. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure we got a lot of working mothers on General Hospital. It's keeping it together. Yeah, and you're multitasking. And you're delivering. It was great success. Oh, my goodness. I mean, I was thinking that driving over today, I'm like, the kind of multitasking that you have to do to be, I mean, I feel like I have like 17 jobs. <laughs> Don't even get, even if you have a husband that's really, really involved and does a whole lot of stuff, when you're the mom, the little details fall to you. That's right. There are a million little things going on in there, and it's not just like, I got to get my roots done. <laughs> I got to learn my lines. I got to get to work on time. It's like, where is the bus schedule? Does he have his shots for camp? Like all that stuff. When you're a mom, you know what I'm talking about. It's no joke. No, it's no joke. And it's a fair, it's the most important job you have. So what is, what is the best tip that you can give for working moms who are trying to juggle it all? Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm trying to think of something really, really good. Some things you just have to let go. I really do. Like some things you either have to take off the list or just say, that's not going to get done today. If there's dog hair on the floor or there's dishes in the sink, you know what? Let it go. If you have hair roots for a little while, let it go. Just let it go. So you can only do so much or you will suffer. Yeah, I th your kids will suffer. I think that's fantastic advice. Were your kids involved in this beautiful getting ready process today? Oh, my goodness. Well, it took a village. Then uh, uh, Ange from GH did my hair and someone else did the makeup. They just keep, keep doing it. I picked the dress at the last minute, so I don't have a lot to say about it, but you know. I think we can all agree that she looks fantastic. You look fantastic. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much. And obviously, you know, you're kind of living the dream here. You're walking down the red carpet at the Emmys. At some point, you dreamt of doing this. So what's the best advice that you've ever received in pursuit of your dreams? Wow. Um, in pursuit of your dreams? Well, I grew up watching General Hospital, so being on this show and on this red carpet right now is legitimately the exact thing that I asked the universe for when I was nine years old. So even on a lousy day at work, I have to say to myself, this is exactly, exactly what you asked for. So, I mean, your dreams do come true sometimes. I mean, I, I guess that, that's advice. Yeah. No, I think it's fantastic you advice. advice. You, you put in your order, you're very specific and clear, and you made it happen. That's very true. Be specific. Maybe that's good advice. <laughs> Be specific. Be very specific. Well, but then accept whatever comes. You know what I mean? That's true. Well, you're an inspiration to a lot of working moms. So thank you so much for stopping and talking to us and have a great time tonight. Thank you very much. Nice to talk to you. Join the conversation on Facebook, Twitter, or Pinterest.